let's play path it kind of feels like we're going to see relatively the same zone as the past two but it's going to be fun nonetheless and again remember these guys are playing open quals they are playing their hearts out they are trying to qualify for the next round they are playing for their dreams so first of all kudos to all of you for going ahead and chasing your dreams all right now that I've said that, Spiel and Disney has paid me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Apoku, how, how are you feeling coming into game number six? It's funny, actually. Disney sent me a check today, so Disney <laughs> is paying me. Uh, game Man, six you here, said you know, uh, there is uh, a possibility with the circle to have Chicken Wing Islands or even the uh, Military Island, uh, the South Island, in play, but we won't see that until uh, about another 10 or 15 seconds here, and I am, you know, I'm looking at that. I'm in game. I'm watching that. Uh, we do have some teams that believe in me, like Rat City Vengeance. Uh, we do have two teams in Los Leones again. I'm not seeing, uh, there's a possibility of some, you know, rats, uh, donkeys, and in, in, uh, Demon Rises. Up, oh, yep, Vanilla Zone. So, looks like we're going to get a Death Trench again. So, we'll be back up to the Northeast. So, not a bad place, but, you know, Still looking at the map because it's on the hard east side of the map. Uh, you're losing about 35% of the map to rotate through. Uh, most of the teams, unlike the last zone, are in. Uh, plenty of room to rotate in. The question is, is uh, are these teams going to collapse on each other a little bit sooner? Or are they going to stay on the outside? Yep. And Chaudhry has decided to go away from most of his teammates, take Campo Militar. But one of the things that's been fun is that recently I've seen a lot more circles in the northeast. And I really hope that we get to play there because it's, it's just fun. You know, it's really hilly. It's kind of bizarre, a little bit wacky. And I love seeing fights there. So we'll see how it plays out. But again, it doesn't really look like any hot drops are coming out, which I think is smart. Again, teams are, this is a grind time. This is when you can't mess around. You're, you're playing serious, you know. So excited to see these teams play well. Uh, just as a reminder for those of you who didn't look at the leaderboard or who want a reminder. One second, actually. As I'm curious. It looks like they are going to go ahead and crash PG1. Well, let me say <laughs> still a good nod from PG1 on to Cerberus. Hot dog holding an angle, trying now, now he's kind of wondering what he does from here. My arrow is going to come around on the outside, so he's going to be coming. Batty Law is rotating. Tomas is rotating as well. Batty Law on foot. Tomas is coming in vehicle, but Batty Law is going to try and defend his teammate. Uh, but yeah, PG1 up here on top. It was a good knock from him. A good, uh, good initial knock, but again from behind, Mike Terror does the spot out hot dog. But Hot Dog actually landing a shot. The PG1 returns the favor and takes him down. Batty Lil now coming in. Him and Tomas. Going to stay inside the warehouse as of right now. Might tear though. Going to throw a nade. Tomas is going to peek that side. A little bit of damage coming out. So Tomas might go down. Some good damage yet again. And now he's going to go ahead and med. And it is a 2v4 Naliab Looking from the other side another good knock from page one Battle on Cerberus now to Cerberus and already Donkey Destroyers taken out in game number six four minutes in Well, they were sitting in second place. Uh, they'll continue to be up there in the top board They'll will not fall to the left side today, but tomorrow they're gonna have to you know Have a good early performance and the pro problem tomorrow is we'll start with Miramar and so far, Miramar today, not their friend. Yeah, but again, they, they have enough points that you have a feeling that they should stay on the left side, barring anything too crazy. Um, again, it is possible, but still a, a very good day one that they can be very proud of. And, you know, again, yeah, looking at the points right now, I'm saying it's going to be around 60 to 68 point cutoff for eighth place. I hear you. Act I just have a feeling that it's going to be a little bit less. I have a feeling it's going to be more like in the 50s. I was going to say, I'm not trying to like argue. It's just, some, uh, again, some, just some, what you someone, think, you know? Someone clip it. Someone clip it. <laughs> All right, Dimitri is trying to get out of here. Him and SO are low HP, but where is SO? They're driving down a road. 
That is not safe for them and putting it mildly. And so go ahead and pass by Plube. Old and young right above <clears throat> Demon Rises. Now looks like most teams are going to be civil after that engagement. Senpai, he did take an emergency shoot just to kind of figure out, go ahead and scout for his team, which we have seen recently. But it looks like Sociopath now has been isolated, spotted out, and he will have heard the shoot. Does actually see its shadow, but it is going to be able to get out of there in time, which is good for him. Might Terror. Again, I always want to call him Night Terror for some reason. Just. It flows well, a little bit smoother. You, you know? know, if there's something you want to talk about, I am here for you. <laughs> I I appreciate it, but I'm, I'm I'm pretty good, I think. Oh, nice. Gonna go ahead and switch to the McLaren, which almost crashed my game. Thank you very much. Two orange McLarens. Go figure. Right. Uh, everyone looks like they're getting close here. Yeah, everyone's consolidating. Grandland is going to go ahead and take take a look at what's what. I mean, RCV still not in the zone. Forge still in Impala for some reason. Uh, I mean, they have plenty of time to rotate there. Miramar's not in either. Well, you know, they're going through a Paku Death Valley, so that's what <laughs> happens. TTG taking some shots over old and young as well as I think that was just fourth one Uh, yeah, even rise is on one side just for fun on the other side, uh own uh, old and young Looks pretty chill though And again, no one's really kind of pushing anyone right now <clears throat> I'd really love to see someone do a trench run right now. That'd be amazing Get one more team <laughs> down there, then have someone just drive through the trench. I have the a feeling we won't see. No, he just shot a flare. <laughs> he shot a flare at old and young. That is, that is, uh, that's that's making a statement right there. You know, screw why you. Why would you? Why would you not even just you know? You didn't even use the flare. All Honestly, right. I love it. I love it though. It's great. <clears throat> there was one time I like hot dropped and I only found a flare so I did, I did the exact same thing I just shot it at the person he was chasing me and I of course I died because I didn't have anything it was just like it's fun <laughs> see I'm the guy that I'll go to do the pickup and I'll see the arm and I'll just take the bullets and run you're one of those guys eh yep <laughs> <laughs> You'll go around and be looting someone like, why are there on bullets on this guy? There's no on. Well, I can tell you about two years ago, I was the type of guy who was prone in a bush with a UMP when it was 9 mil. It was not my oh, proudest yeah, yeah. moment. Nothing wrong with that. I played a UMP in a PUBG partner tournament and got <laughs> lots of love for it. <laughs> I'm sure machine, you did. Machine, machine, machine gunner, uh, now he's with Sonics. <laughs> Machine was like, I respect that. He just got two kills and he killed two players that are way better than him. Good for him. <laughs> Dude, what was it? Oh man, he was he was playing a game. I think he actually ran a UMP as well and he got a knock. He didn't get the kill, it was really sad, but <clears throat> he, he got the knock and, and the uh the guy got res, which made me a little sad. I was I was laughing the whole time. I really wanted him to get the kill. <clears throat> Well, no one thinks this is going south, if you've noticed. Everyone's just like, we're all going to go center. Except for Miramar, who are just basically on top of hills going, where are we going? What are we doing? Why are we here? I I'm confused about their leadership, to be honest. I'll be honest. I haven't been watching too closely to them, so no offense to them. I just haven't paid attention. So uh, should be interesting to see where the circle goes. Hmm? Clemson hunting on two members of rats, though. Yep, uh, on um, the east side. Checking that out right now, seeing if uh, seeing if he actually will aggress. No, take the shot. Oh, he, he didn't take know. the shots, and Hello Senpai didn't have any HP. That is the epitome of unlucky. But now he just he needs to land one shot. No, no, no. Oh, I thought my game crashed. 
Well, he lands shots, but it's onto <laughs> the, the wrong, wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> Circle does shit, but this time it goes west, and now Miramar are actually in a decent spot. They should take one of these compounds right here, I would say. But now we're seeing the mad dash from all the teams. It's a trench run! Exactly what I wanted. And Centurion actually decided to go ahead and stop here and just take the fight. I'm going to take down PG1. The MVP of the earlier fight. And Naliab actually knocked down ZBG. Oh no. I'm gonna go ahead and med the smoke. I'm sure it terrified him. The peak is coming out. Might tear. Gonna go ahead and knock sub zero. The peak. It was a good trade. The Molly isn't gonna do anything. Please don't kill my game. I'm gonna go for the flush, but the push is coming out. He will get him. Oh no, he goes for the flush yet again. Now they have the last one up and abstract is here and everyone just wants a piece of this. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and flush. I'm abstract is already there. Now they have to get the shots in, but no, it's gonna see if that takes him down. <clears throat> Market knocks actually two from abstract. ZBG, the last one up on Demon Rise is six kills to their name. Seven kills. Watch out from behind. Stone Storm is taken down low, but not taken down completely. Now he is pushing, but Sociopath gonna find him. And now that I backed off, I can tell you that Centurion still has one up. So does Abstract. All right, when you said Death Trench, I, I thought you were kind of joking, but jeez, man, you were not. No, no, no. This was, uh, um, who was it? Uh, Matrim. Uh, and Poro named this uh, the Death Trench Run. Because this exact thing would happen in, oh, uh, the, in uh, NPL. But it would end here and everyone would have to come down. It wouldn't do it like this phase. It would be the next phase. And yeah. it would be on either side of the trench and you had to go. Oh, Spoon getting a kill on Jsank. Yeah, but the flush is going to happen. So unfortunately, I'm not even going to bother going over there because he should be dead already, basically. But geez, what? What madness? Mark now peeking them back. Uh, main sociopath now gonna go ahead and push. Sociopath! Sociopath is gonna kill Mark. And Stone Storm is gonna go down. Herb's gonna collect that kill. It is stolen. Now abstract. They have two down. Zolmox and Arson, the last two up as they try to make a rotate in a car that does not like the hills. And yet. A and PT are gonna watch them and now the car is stuck and this is gonna be absolutely no bueno for them as they try to make their way somewhere Somewhere safe, but safe is nowhere to be found as they see a smooth brain gaming on top as well as AMPT, but this circle goes straight to death trench Crossroads is in effect. It's going to be battle from hill to hill. It should center up again here, but we have teams that are still in the blue. And this is not kind, folks. This is a final phase here. This is phase three. That does not just tickle, it hurts. Rats of Avenge is still rotating in. Forge still rotating in. Members of uh, SBG still rotating in. Forge has finally made their way through Rats of Vengeance, though. It how bad is it chunking? Okay, they can kind of bandage through it. <laughs> that rock was not planned to be there. Team on top though, trying to take some shots over at Forge as they do pass on by. No knocks coming out just yet. Finna though, super close by. Trying to take some shots, I assume. Blue spotted, Blue taken down. Blue was gonna go ahead and get pushed. There's no way for the rest to come out. And now, no, they're gonna make the run as well. Grand Landis, though, gonna find war. No cap now, the last one on the side of Forge. He has 75 HP. Can anyone get the final kill onto him? Or the final so hit on him? Woo! No contact. Devil Vibes, though, gonna go ahead and knock bacon pancakes as no cap sire does get blown out. Is gonna continue, but continue where to? There's no way that is safe. Nowhere that no one has eyes on you. Maybe go to that shack and then just pray that you survive somehow. But in front of him, multiple compounds, and it feels like each does have teams in it just for fun. I'm gonna wait and watch. 
Oh no, God. You didn't shot like they did too. <clears throat> Nowhere is safe, but the nade from 088 is going to come out and he is dead. But now there is no time to talk about it because AMPT, Smooth Brain Gaming, and Top are all going to be fighting each other. JD3 gets out in time. Mitchie B, though, going to knock Mr. Iconic. <laughs> JD3 going to go ahead, go for the drive by. Can he find Mitchie T? He cannot, but the nade is good. Mitchie T does go down. JD3 finds him. But the chaos continues as Soda tries to stay alive as a team on point goes ahead to push this. Soda what trying to stay alive. Time. Oh no, throws the nade just a little bit too far. He goes down. It's just Geo and Loud. Rat City Vengeance have also made it their mark. Soda goes ahead, peeks over, tries to hit it loud, but cannot hit a single shot. JD3 tries to take some shots over. Esso gonna knock him. Loud goes down. True goes down. Smooth Brain Gaming is eliminated as RCV have it two up. Geo still can res two teammates as both McKenna and Zhao are knocked. And Esso and Dimitri still up trying to figure out what the heck to do in this madness. Yeah, Rats not gonna be able to pick up their team there. The circle did come back and. Gives a little bit more, like I said, it's going to be that hill-to-hill -hill battle there. Uh, Arson actually took in a plane. Uh, he took the emergency pickup, so good for him. He's all by himself. We get shot once. Clemson does good damage, but so far he's not dead. Tries to make it, but TTG is taking shots, and he is on one HP, but survives. Now, old and young, they get a knock onto Islas from miramar but miramar is slightly in and i think they're going to stay that way but now team on point they're going to go ahead and push on to rcv so i think he might be dc'd if not he could do some serious damage to team on point right here the blue is yeah, chunking stage four he's gonna I, need to heal he's gonna need to get a car he's gonna nade oh no i was gonna say he should nade if he had naded first i think he could have gotten all three but still, good knock. Nade is actually pretty good. Going to do a little bit of damage. And now the flank coming out from Dimitri. Dimitri going to go ahead and get pushed. He's down to 33 HP. The stun appears to be good. Gets one knock, but can't get the second. SO does find the last one, though. And RCV go into eighth place. Yeah, RCV, not sure they're going to be able to live there. There's still one up, but he's going to have to get out of there with the car and get in. But here we go. Sociopath still in the hot dog building and being surrounded by the rats. That is not where you want to be surrounded by rats. You have Spoon, you have Finna, and you have Brain Lannis and Senpai. All of them feels like just onto you and Senpai takes down Sociopath and Grand Lannis. Is he gonna get flushed? Possibly, I'm not sure. One yeah, shot. On oh, yeah, he can't get down. He can't get down, <laughs> which is actually so annoying. <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought that would kill him. But Grand Landis should be able to get res by now. And that is gonna save Rats. Continue as a four man, which is gonna be huge in this game. Again, we were saying that they need to get some good placement points this game. Gearing up to be. I mean, it's the craziest game so far. There's only one solo, solo. and I think Six everyone else is a four man. Except for now, everyone but one team is a four man. So who's the, who's one the solo. Last team? Uh, Miramar only has three. Oh, I thought Miramar would have had four. Okay. No, so died. that is that is the most full teams that we've had up. I think yep. basically since phase one in this entire day. So we'll completely donuts, just for fun. Going to be happy and honestly. Old and young as well as they can play the north side. Tilt Town gonna play that west side, and now Miramar, TTG. I mean, rats can be kind of happy, and SO are all gonna have to push. So TTG, Miramar, and SO are gonna have to do a lot of work. As well as trying to get out of there, but TT keeping them at the bay with some good shots. Yeah, there is a free crate up there that's an MG3, but not sure anyone can go for it, to be honest. Yep, Joshi going to go down behind TTG's LOS. It's going to be good, but again, you have to wonder exactly where TTG can go. Feels like they'd have to be running the gauntlet yet again. But they start Devil Vibes and Glory. 
They're gonna go ahead and move Devil Vibes with an MK14. And that driving, whew, not too shabby, but gotta be aware of just for fun as they have basically a few of them. And I'm surprised that was not enough. Well, they, they wanted to get that spread across because they knew their compound probably is, is, their compound is not in zone, so they had to move these two of them. Uh, so they can get some pressure and get some knocks on there. Tilttown and Old and Young, Old and Young working together to take down Miramar with Jim, Jimisi, Jimisi, the last one, Jimsy. Jimsy. Thank you. Uh, so did go down to Senpai. Joshi did work out the dough. Discord. Something wrong with Discord? Yeah, it's just the audio. It's fine. Oh. The res is going to come oh, out. Morins, though. And that, Morins. I mean, Morins won the top five damage dealers. I mean, he was top for a while, so. I can believe it. He's been putting in work. Icon going to go ahead and re knock Tebow. Memoir down to just one player. Morins is thirsty <clears throat> for that last kill. TTG, though, they actually are pushing Tilttown, and Tilttown need to address this first, I think. Yeah, no, they're, they're going to hold each other out right now. Tilttown need to secure this side. Savage is going to go down, and TTG looking super strong. Clemson, Joshi, and Morin's now going to make their way over, but they're super spread, and I don't know if it's going to work out in their favor right now. Savage should bleed. Icon did kill the last member of Miramar. So now TTG versus Tilt Town is going to be a 4v3. And that MK14 is going to put in absolute work. Morin's going to go down. Now it's a 2v4. Cater uh, going to go ahead on the left-hand side. Try to spot him. All the smokes are keeping them alive. But as soon as they dissipate, that is going to be a Jembo. Going to go down. But they can still take this fight. Glory goes down a little bit low. Joshi spotted by Gator. Taken down. Nicely done. Clemson, the last one alive. Clemson does take down Devil Vibes. Oh my gosh. Why did it switch me to the wrong thing? Clemson. Gonna back off slightly. The res is... Looks like they're gonna come out. Nope. Never mind. Not just yet. <clears throat> Clemson dying to try and get another kill to get something more for his team. Tilttown will not be satisfied with just three kills. They are a very hungry org and they would like to get some more. That looks like it was a good molly. Didn't actually tag him somehow. Kate are going to go ahead and get Jembo. Now it's a 3v1. They're going to make it a 2v1 for the res. Devil Vibes taken down Clemson on 29 HP and Cater. Gonna find Clemson and now the res is should come out and TTG gonna be four up. Old and young tried to get a flush onto TTG, I think, but it didn't quite work. And now look at this. We have three teams of four and one with three. And the one with three is old and young, which have a lot of skill glory. Not gonna go down. Icon gonna miss those shots. Fries trying to keep rats off all by himself on this western side. As rats go ahead and do make it into zone. A nice spot in zone, I must say. Good hill, good cover. Keeping out old and young. And now old and young are pressed into making something happen. This has to be their time. Smoke, yeah, stuns, whatever spoon. they got. They left Spoon out on the anchor, as we can see on the east side. He's going to be a distraction. He's going to be able to call out the rest of the rats. And that's going to give them some comfort. And then, of course, they left Hello Senpai down on the base. So they do control a good portion of the circle and do have some good options here. Team out. Old and young, that was the need push the car back, which I don't think I've seen in a very long time at least. I thought that was out of the game. Rats though with a good knock and it looks like Icon and Fry is just going to deny the points possibly. Fry, he has an MVP. Three slots out, Bennett gets him down low, but Grand Land is going to take him down. And now old and young have paid the price and they are gone from this lobby, leaving us with three teams of four 
from TTG are already pushing on to rats. Yeah, fun, just uh, chilling, having fun in a house. They haven't done anything except shoot at random people, so. <laughs> they have two kills. Grand Land is trading shots with double vibes, but double vibes using the cover well, except for that point when Grand Land is with a good knock. Honestly, I would actually love to see Just for Fun moving out now, as they should know that it's just these three teams. Well, they teams. have the zone now. They are the only ones that have a zone, except, yeah, they're the only ones in zone right now, is Just for Fun. I, I would still kind of like a push out just so that they can keep people out, but that, I digress. So, I mean, they have to, everyone has to come off the hills too, so. Yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no cover. That's fair. <laughs> Can they I mean, actually yeah, I, make I, I like I, I'd like to see them come out, but I mean, there there's like one oh, no. or two rocks across the street. I was gonna say if they had a vehicle, they could rotate whatever the way this is south, I think. But circle, I mean, they can't. He has to hop into the car immediately, and this is gonna be horrible. But Finn is gonna spot him, take down Glory, and they're all gone. And now it's just the pure four v four. And this is the moment where you feel like Hello Senpai is gonna play a huge role for Rats if they want to go ahead and win this game. Doing a little bit of damage. How's this car? This car is absolutely perfect. And that is huge because I think he can actually play on the south side somewhere. I mean, he, yeah, he, he can park rocks. his car next to that truck. Yeah. He can park the car next to the truck or the rock. Now, rats are going to be all moving in vehicles and just for fun. They're going to be happy with placement points. But they're going to be hopeful hoping that they can get add some kills to that mix hello senpai is going to go down that's the one who took him down grand landis should be able to get the res though finna playing the dip spoon playing the rock i mean for fun oh that's a good nade tons of nades yeah nice one by herbs yeah honestly i think that could have saved just the funds game without one nade finna goes down zero taken down as well and now it is all down to spoon it is a 3v1 and spoon <laughs> spoon is ready for a good time spoon's good it dude i i i kind of believe in him like i i can see him doing it <clears throat> he does have zone on to just for fun it is going to be difficult no matter what for sure but yeah, I saw Spoon do a 1v4 you. and it was insane. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw him do a 1v3 uh, in the round of 64. Oh, nice. Uh, do you know who was, or do you remember who was it against? <clears throat> no, no, no. I just remember it was he and he, won, and he got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, just for fun, had made it now a 1v4. The knock didn't stay knocked. It hurts. Providing covering fire as Milk is going to be the one. Nice knock. Good shot. Milkman is going to be going ahead and rotating. If he has yeah, a nade, though, this this could be it for him. Oh, Milk's going to be able to sideswipe him here in a second. If Okay, if he oh, has a nade the... and he's not throwing it, I'm going to be mad. Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> Spoon could actually nade that. He sees the rock. He knows it's there. If he gets this knock. Yeah, that could be that could be the game changer. Oh, uh, it doesn't, uh, it barely goes short. That is, it's unfortunate yeah, no for vest. him. No vest, no more first aids. Oof, making pancakes with a good flank to go ahead and get the win just for fun, taking the last game of the day. But still, we were talking about rap.